And of course, let's begin with a look back in the past of November 13th, 2016, when all these altcoins were super low, especially compared to now. Again, Bitcoin set under $700, Ethereum $10, just so many. You can scroll down, you can check this out on CoinMarketCap and just look at the differences in prices that we see one year ago. And I believe we'll see one year from now. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with CryptoPix. Before I begin, let me just say thanks to all my subscribers, new and old, anybody that's watching. I appreciate all of you. You guys push me to do more videos. Also, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Well, let's get started with part three of my coins to pick from now until the end of 2018. So first, let's begin with Neblio. Neblio is a blockchain deployment platform built to simplify and accelerate the deployment and development of distributed applications. A suite of RESTful APIs and almost every popular programming language allows developers to intuitively interact with the Neblio network without having to know the complex knowledge of blockchain technology. So what is the coin used for? Proof of stake. Users stake their tokens to help secure the network and are rewarded for their staking and verifying blocks. It's also used for transaction fees on the platform and different type of apps on the network. So why do I think Neblio is important to have from now until the end of 2018? This one's fairly straightforward. Neblio has a super duper low market cap compared to the other platforms, which I believe all of them, at least the big ones are in the top 25. We got Neo, 1.9 billion, number seven, Quantum, 853 million, number 12, Lisk, 788 million, number 13, Waves, Stratus, and so on. I believe Stratus is more of Neblio's competitor because they both target the enterprise portion of the blockchain. And Neblio right now is 45 million. Just if it catches Stratus, that's almost 10 times gain from this point right now. Also, Late 2017, they have staking, Q1 2018, RESTful API for interacting with the Neblio network, 2018 Q2 marketing. This could really push the value because then the enterprises will see this is something that they could actually use to benefit their business. Then Q3, we got the Enterprise Go and the, the API version 2 beta launch. Then Q4, implementation and delivery of the version 2 suite for the enterprise customers. And... Right now, they're on such a crappy exchange, Cryptopia. I honestly don't mind it too much, but so many people talk so much trash about it. Actually, Data Dash was like, oh, I usually don't buy anything on Cryptopia, but he made an exemption with uh, Neblio. So it will be interesting to see what they get on next. Maybe Binance, my favorite favorite exchange. I think that would drive the price at least two or three times just because it's such an undervalued token at the moment. Next, we have... Of course, NEO. NEO is a community-based blockchain project that utilizes blockchain technology and digital identity to digital assets to automate the management of digital assets using smart contracts and to realize a smart economy with a distributed network. So what is the NEO coin used for? The NEO platform has a two native tokens where it's pretty unique here. We have NEO and NEO gas. NEO represents the right to manage the network. These rights include voting for bookkeeping, and NEO parameter changes, and much more. The minimum unit of NEO is only one token. It cannot be subdivided like Bitcoin can with Satoshis. Gas is the fuel token. The NEO network charges for the operation and storage of tokens and smart contracts, creating economic incentive for bookkeepers and preventing the abuse of resources. The minimum unit of gas is 0 0.00000001, seven zeros, just like Satoshis. So of course, why are we picking NEO for 2018? I'm sure this is pretty easy for most of you to know, but NEO is China's Ethereum. It's China's first public blockchain and it abides by all their proposed rules. So China right now is in this huge limbo because of ICOs and their temporary ban. We know, or we believe that they're going to lift that ban just with some restrictions and then they're going to then NEO should flourish. That's when new ICOs are just gonna go crazy, come out on, in China, and we know China is huge when it comes to technology and innovation. So we know 
that NEO will be <laughs> their Ethereum and it should just drive the price and it should be ridiculous. That's my thought, a lot of other people's thoughts. Most people that have invested think the same thing. Of course, everybody has their own opinion. Next, again, NEO's unique where we receive gas for holding NEO. This is awesome because gas actually has a lot of value and that's gonna also increase with the more volume coming through the NEO platform. They also have a superstar studded team. Their CEO is advisors, their CEO and the rest of their team are advisors to a lot of other good projects. So that's a huge plus. And again, like I talked about earlier, new and innovative ICOs are gonna be coming through China, through the NEO platform. Also, as you can see on the bottom, they have a, a few big things coming up. We got the dApps competition. We have NEO slash China open source blockchain event. Then they're gonna announce the winner of the DAP competition. Then they have a conference and then just a meetup at Cambridge. So it's not ginormous news, but it's still news coming out. And of course, 2018, again, is gonna be huge for China, for blockchain, and then especially NEO. Now for my final coin, ARC. I actually had a few coins that I had a hard time deciding which one to pick here. I could make two more videos or at least one more video if you want me to. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear those other coins I was considering. So what is ARC? ARC aims to create an entire ecosystem of linked chains and virtual spider webs of endless use cases, making ARCs highly flexible, adaptable, and scalable. ARC is building a platform that integrates key decentralized technologies and developing use cases to show off the abilities of the ARC network. So to summarize this, ARC's main idea is the smart bridge, which they want to create a way for companies and projects to have the option to communicate with each other, allowing the functionality of blockchain apps to be used outside their own blockchain. So it's pretty much like the Google of blockchain or like a sandbox of blockchain. Super innovative, super exciting if they can get this to actually work. So why did I pick ARC for 2018? Their project idea is awesome. Huge possibility. Again, the Google blockchain, there's just unlimited possibilities for what this project could actually do. They have a super, super ambitious roadmap. They got the mobile wallet, the ARC VM machine, smart bridge partners. As you can see, there's just a bunch. I'm not going to go over the percentage to the right is how far they are into completion of this actual milestone. So this one, huge opportunity. 2018 is going to be ginormous for them, especially if they can get some key partners. I think right now they got cost and ledger. So right now they don't have huge partners or at least many, but we'll see what 2018 has in store for them. So I know that last coin was super short. I don't want to make these, these videos super long. You can always go to the ARC website to get some more information. Same with Neblio and Neo. I actually have a video on Neblio. Let me know, what do you think of my nine coins that I've done from video one, two, and three, and especially these coins now? Everyone has been talking about Neo. Neblio is the next big thing that everyone's talking about. ARC, I think it's kind of under the radar, but it's kind of a confusing thing too that once people understand what it's doing could really take off even more than it already has. Let me know. Also, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to share with your friends. And I'll see you next time.